good morning and welcome to another episode of Learn English. Lesson 172. Welcome. Angulam Katpo. Padam Nuti Elevati Rende. Last week, I gave you some words. Did you find the meanings? Because when you read a paper, when you read a book, you may come across some hard words or words that you have never heard before. You may ignore it, but you won't improve your English if you don't find out the meanings of those new words. So once you learn the meaning, it will be in your memory. It will come back when you need it again. So I gave you some words and I hope you have taken some time, take, made some effort to find out the meanings. Now if you look at the board, words, meanings, words, scowl, sc scowl, vein, plunge, trembling, commence, location, isolated, adequate. Now note the spellings. Write the words down. Scowl, like school. It's got S and C together. You've got to practice that sound. Don't say Isakal. That's not very nice. Scowl, scowl, school, scout. Now, what does that mean? An angry look. When he heard the news of what had happened, he had an angry look on his face. How do you spell angry? A -ng -ng -r yeah. Angry. I'm trying to join it for you. Angry. Angry look. A G A N G R Y. Angry. Angry look. What does that mean? Skull means angry. What does angry mean? Koba. Motile and the in the new skirt of the end of the day, our cure skull. Motile or skull? He showed a skull face. Angry face. So when next time you come across the word skull, you know what it means. Sometimes from the context, from what the sentence says, you can guess the meaning sometimes. Vain. Have you come across the word vain? Or did you find out for homework what vain means? V -a -a -n. V-A-I-N. Vain. Are you vain? Somebody who is proud of himself. Others don't say he is good, but he thinks he is great. He wants to look good. He is always looking at himself in the mirror. So that sort of person is a vain person. You don't have to do that. So they might say, don't be so vain. You might say, I don't want to wear this shirt today. And then you say, don't be so vain. Vain means somebody who is proud, one's own appearance, how he looks, proud of his looks, proud, of, of, his or her, and looks.
proud pr p r o u d pr proud next one plunge you push yourself into something plunge in the palamoligal i mentioned aalam theriyamal kaalai vidade don't jump into the deep end unless you know how deep the swimming pool is plunge plunge means push oneself into thrust something you can plunge something by force or you can plunge yourself into a deep end plunge so p l p l you got to pronounce the double sounds together don't say p l a unj that will spoil the pronunciation pl n j plunge push deep dive push right p p u sometimes u makes a a uh sound like cut but sometimes it's u p u s h na s s and h together makes sh sound sh say it together sh push it can come at the end of a word or it can come at the beginning shine the gold shines don't say sign because sign has a different meaning when you see s h immediately make the sh sh shop don't say shop ship you mustn't say ship ship and a couple so when you see the s h word then say it together okay plunge trembling have you come across that word do you now know the meaning did you find out trembling means shivering with fear trembling shaking with fear or excitement sometimes when you are excited you shake adavud payathinal nadunguvathu ir nalla or surprise ungalku kedaithal adhu or excitement aga irukkum adanalum nadungala shaking shaking with fear so instead of saying when i went out i saw a man trying to shoot me so i was trembling with fear i hope it doesn't happen i'm just using it as an, as an example trembling some children don't like thunder some children don't like lightning and they tremble with fear so shake with fear instead of saying shake next time you can use the word trembling shaking with fear again s h word it's nice to learn the grammar as you go along Shh. don't say shaking people won't understand what you're saying shaking shaking with fear trembling means shaking commence commence you may have heard this word commence now commence the program now we are going to commence the race at sports meet now football match will commence at 3 o'clock do you know what it is that's right start commence mean to start Two, T O two. I often tell you there are three types of two. One is one, two, three. One is go to that place. The other one has two O's. You two, ningalum pohala. To start. S 
T, write it down, A, R, T. Start the race. Teacher said, now we'll commence the lesson. Commence means start. So you start doing using big words when you write. And when you read, come across big words, find out what they are. The next one is location. Shooting was done on location. Now, where is the location? It's a place. Locate means find out. Location means a place. It's a place where this is going to take place. Location. A place where it takes place. Place. So instead of saying, you can use it when you write formally. The location of my house is just opposite Sainsbury's in Harrow or whatever. Location. The place. So location means place. P L A C E. Place is at Udam. Location and Dal Udam. Place means Udam. Isolated. What does isolate mean? What does isolate mean? Separate. Isolate. Some children isolate themselves from others. They are lonely. Isolate two children because if they sit together, they are naughty. Separate them. Isolate them. Leave, let them be alone from each other. Isolate. Isolation. Isolate. Separate. Be alone. I like to be isolated sometimes from others. I like to be isolated from others. I like to be alone. So, isolate means separate, lonely. Think of other meanings. There are maybe more than one or two meanings for a word. Adequate. Adequate amount of money. Sometimes your father will say, I have put adequate amount of money in your bank, in your name. Use it when you want to. Use it when you need it. Adequate. Or you might tell your father, the pocket money I get is not adequate. What does that mean? Not enough. Enough. Now, enough is an interesting word to learn to spell. Enough. E N O U G H. F like photograph. It makes a first sound. G and H together makes a first sound. Now, in English, we got F as well, but they write G and H together also makes the F sound. F, photograph, telegraph, enough. So, when you see G and H next time together, always pronounce it as F, F, photograph. So now, how are you going to use this in sentences? Can you think of a sentence with scowl? Scowl means angry look. What can you say? My next door neighbor is not very friendly. Whenever he sees me, he has a scowl on his face. Scowling face. That means he is not happy to see me. Maybe because you kicked the ball into their garden. So you can write a sentence with scowl. Instead of saying angry, I made my mother scowl. That means I made her angry. 
Sometimes you have to make them angry, but that is the word you can use instead of anger. Vain, are you a vain person? I hope you are not. It is not very good to be vain. That means you think that you are good looking, you think you dress properly, you think you are beautiful and look at the mirror all the time. You are not worried about others, you are worried about yourself because you think you look good. Proud about your appearance. What does appearance mean? Enna madri irukkandu cholradu. appearance. Plunge, push. Don't plunge. Don't push anybody into deep water. You don't plunge into water without knowing the depth. Trembling. Nadungal. That you can use in sentences. Write it down now itself in a sentence. Commence. Start. You can write what does what time does your class commence? Location Adam write it down and write the sentence. Isolated Tanya Pirituita Adequate Adequate Podum Inadequate not enough Adequate Podum enough until we meet again. Goodbye.